Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Picked up another truck for the fleet, and I thought I'd give you a little walk around and preview of this thing. Pretty excited about this one. Um, and then I think we're going to clean it up a little bit today and figure out what we're going to do with it. It's a 1986 GMC Suburban Sierra Classic, uh, three quarter ton. It's got the 454 big block in it which I love, love that torque, and uh, it's actually pretty, pretty dang clean for being a Minnesota truck. There's really only one spot of rust on this truck, and that's kind of coming through down here, which is really typical, but I mean, otherwise for Minnesota, this is actually considered grade A quality. You can see all this mold and moss and tree stuff um, we actually pulled this out of a tree row it's been sitting a really long time so uh, i was pretty impressed i made it to 160 miles home yesterday um, and these tires are well i'll show you they're really good and um, you just want to ignore all that dry rot that'll come out of it if you wear through it and I think, I think it might be evidence of being repainted here, this back corner. Uh, so when we start cleaning up the paint, we'll be able to see uh, exactly what's under there. And then if you ever get this splattering, you guys know what that is. That's the uh, telltale sign that you've basically got a severe oil leak and it's kicking up on the back tailgate area. So. Um, it does have a minor crack in the windshield, like right there-ish. Yeah, but we'll just kind of ignore that. And some of the paint on the roof is coming off. But the interior is actually really nice. Should clean up pretty good. Has a custom headlighter bows. Oh shoot, I see one fell down. Uh, that's factory. That's a factory option from Michigan. And uh, custom toolbox in the back. Actually, I'll show you this. I'm pretty excited about this. Tell me this wasn't a good deal. Look at all these hitches I got in here for free. That one, that's not cheap. That's chrome. And uh, gotta have lawn and leaf bags. There's the inspection cover. Oh man, I even got paint strap for free. Got a pretty good deal. Um, what else is there to know about this? Oh yeah, the two issues I had yesterday. Fuel pump went out. So went ahead and rigged in an electrotronic one, but the line kept kinking here. So I kept shortening and shortening this up until it uh, would stop kinking and also these wires were rubbed raw and you know we're doing the stuff on the firewall here so i went ahead and fixed them right and uh wrapped them in duct tape that's what any good mechanic would do so that's pretty much it uh Let's go run it down to the car wash. I just want to blow off all the mold and moss and stuff like that. Degrease the engine a little bit. And then I got to figure out if I'm going to keep this thing or if I'm going to actually sell it. The downside to these big blocks, if there ever was one, is that if it's below 68 degrees out, it's like a NASA operation getting out of your neighborhood keeping the motor running. They are so damn cold-blooded. It's ridiculous. Anywho and how, we're going to swing over to the old dollar spray. Uh, it's like already 30 degrees here in Minnesota. So I got my hose bibs turned off. So normally I'd use my own pressure washer, but that's right. We're going to ruin other people's stuff. And uh, we'll start with the engine bay, see how much crap we can blow off of that, and then see if
see if there's any clear coat left underneath all this moss and dirt and stuff. You don't want to get the important stuff. Except where it's greasy. to look more red which is a good sign but the clear coat is really really thin I should mention that the brush that I was just using in there never do that if you care about your car or you have halfway decent paint you're just gonna destroy it because you have idiots like me um, scrubbing wheels and all sorts of stuff in there it's just gonna ruin your paint so don't do that um, this is what I call the classic Craigslist photograph opportunity you guys know the rule, if you ever see a car just happens to be freshly washed, you know the paint is crap. They're just trying to make it look shiny. Um, but it gives you an idea. The guy's got pipes next door, I like that. It gives you an idea what it looked like if we can get it polished up. Paint's really thin in quite a few areas. But I think we're going to go ahead and do some spot buffing on it, see if we can get some shine back here and there. My biggest concern is this definitely was a repaint. Um, so we're gonna have to be careful there. I don't know what what kind of clear and base and all that fancy stuff they did there. But all the plastic trim cleaned up really nice, bumper cleaned up, uh, even the grill. I'm really impressed with high pressure water. All this plastic cleaned up nice. Um, haven't looked at the, oh, ah, that'll buff out. Haven't looked at the motor yet, but I'm sure it doesn't look that great, but there you go. Uh, little preview, I guess we'll make an episode of her. Let's, um, polish it, buff it, vacuum it, and I think we're going to go ahead and flip this one. So, subscribe, make sure you don't miss. I'm going to show you how to polish old shit paint. <laughs>